everybody. Welcome back to another Sunday Live Activation. How is everybody doing today? We've got beautiful weather here in St. Louis, Missouri. It's finally fall. Um, I just went camping last night, just got back, so sorry, a few minutes late to the live. But how is everybody doing? Hello, Mary, Hopewell Farms, Victor. Um, the telekinesis side wheel technique is in my YouTube shorts. I do have a video on that. That teaches you how to uh, practice uh, telekinesis with a a pen, um, a post-it note, and you stick it into a racer, and then you move it with your mind. That's pretty fun. <laughs> so today we're going to be working with the Pleiadians. I've been seeing the Pleiadians a lot um, this week, last week, as well as some inner earth beings and some mantis beings. I saw them again last night and had a wonderful experience with them while camping. So I'll share a little bit about that. Um, for those who don't know the Pleiadians, I'm sure most of you probably do, but they are our closest cousins. They look very similar to us um, from the Pleiades star cluster. They're very heavily involved with Earth and humanity. There are a lot of Pleiadian star seeds on Earth right now. So beings who have lived on the Pleiades before this, um, a lot of us have Pleiadian star families. They... They're usually very tall with light skin and have light hair, like blonde hair and then bright blue eyes. Very beautiful. They look very human-like, like models, really. And they're sometimes called the Nordics, uh, Nordic beings, because they look Nordic, like, uh, you know, Sweden and all of that. And what else was I going to say? Somebody recently asked me on a live about the tall whites, and I was thinking that he was talking or they were talking about a different species because I've heard of another ET species referred to as the tall whites, but they weren't Pleiadian. They were something else. And they these other tall whites were working on a base with the government on Earth from this uh, testimony of a guy who worked on a base and met them, but they were different looking. So um, that was my response. But then I just realized that some people refer to the Nordics, the Pleiadians as tall whites also. So that can be a little bit confusing, but um, I just wanted to mention that because he asked if I, or they asked if I know about the tall whites and I thought he was talking about a different species. Yes, I know all about the Pleiadians. <laughs> They're some of my closest star family. I work with them frequently. They are amazing healers. And today we're going to be doing a chakra tune up with them. The chakras are super, super, super important. And they've been coming up a lot again. Um, Charles Hall talks about the tall whites Interesting. Mary's had two lives as a Pleiadian. That's awesome. Um, does anyone know what the bright star or planet shining in the morning is? Uh, Venus is called the morning star. I don't know if it's up right now, um, but usually they call that the morning star. So that could be it. You can get a star map also. Hello, everybody. I hope everybody's having an awesome day. I'm feeling really good. I had a really nice session last night with these mantis beings. Um, and I wanted to share a quick story. And for anybody who's new to my channel or new to the live activations, I share some messages, share a little bit about what's going on. Um, we do different topics each Sunday live at 2 p.m. Central Time. And then, of course, the replays still work. And um, after I talk for a little bit, I'll channel a session with my heart chakra singing bowl that I get from solosoaring.com with the Pleiadians to help tune up all of your chakras, move energy, clear blockages through all of you. So we do that all together. And yeah, very, very powerful, especially whenever you get together as a group to do this. So the mantis beings real quick, and I have a recent Sunday Live where we uh, worked with the mantis beings and they're here again to assist. The mantis beings are known as being masters of frequency, masters of energy. They're very, very advanced beings. And yes, they look like praying mantises. There are some hybrids too that I've heard of that are more humanoid with mantis features, but these are just straight up praying mantises, <laughs> but they're very, very intelligent, very advanced. And um, they're known for working with portals, uh, with stargates. I believe they help manage stargates for transportation out in the galaxy. Uh, they also um, are on some of the Galactic Federation ships and other collaborate with other extraterrestrials. So there's a group of Pleiadians that I work with very closely. And um, it's I think it's two or three males and then a female. And then they have a mantis on their crew as well. 
and the mantis helps modulate the frequency of the ship. So it helps with space travel. But mantises can be very, very helpful to us and the world because they're helping elevate the frequency. They're helping um, work with Earth's frequency, uh, clearing density, and they're really good at working with your frequency. So that's what they were doing with me last night and helping me to access higher levels of consciousness. A lot of people see mantis beings during um, uh, a trip using uh, plant medicine like um, LSD or DMT or mushrooms, so which is pretty interesting. Um, and yeah, so what they did with me last night, the last time I saw them a couple weeks ago, they helped me to raise my consciousness, expand my consciousness, like I started to understand things better. And they helped me looking within and accessing my inner temple for all of the answers, which seems maybe kind of like you should already know that, you know, look within, but they really helped me experience it on a whole new level. And I have that live activation under the lives tab if you want to do that, where I uh, channel that experience for you guys to experience as well. Recently, um, the ETs have been telling me that we've got a lot of parasites and a lot of kind of just gunk within us right now. And um, they told me to start taking this scram, which is a parasite cleanse. I've taken it once before um, a few months back, and they basically said it's time to do it again. So these parasites can actually change the way that you feel. They can change the way that you think, and they're just not good for you. And we have a lot of those living within us. So this is a parasite cleanse that I use. They just told me to start doing this again. I just ordered another one. It's called Scram. I got it off Amazon. And I did put the link for this in the description in case you'd like to try it. You just take these capsules. Um, besides the parasite, there's a lot of other things within us that come from the chemtrails, come from the chemicals in our food, just a lot of gunk that's not supposed to be in there in the air. Um, so right now it's really important for us to be cleansing our bodies, cleansing our temples, um, doing detoxes is a big message. So we're getting bombarded with a lot of BS right now, as well as something that, um, I've recently been looking more into, or that's been more information on this has been coming to me called black goo, which sounds like a fantasy thing or like in a movie, but it's real. And they showed me that most of us, many of us are affected with this black goo like substance and it can change. It can keep our frequency low. So it's really important to do things to help cleanse and clear that working with the energy centers like we'll do today, um, eating better foods, holistic foods, staying away from processed foods. Um, what else? Tons of things. Uh, drinking natural spring water or using some sort of a really good filter because they put a bunch of crap in the water as well, especially in the tap water. Don't use tap water. You can put a shower filter on. That's what I have. That helps because it absorbs through our skin as well. Um, and keeping your frequency as high as possible to help automatically kind of get rid of these things. But last night um, or yesterday, it came to my attention that I have um, some of some gunk in me that I need to get rid of. And last night, whenever I was meditating with the mantis beings and I was tuning into this like very, very heightened level of consciousness, communing with source, with these wonderful mantises who are assisting me. And I asked, can we get rid of the stuff in my body that doesn't belong? And then instantly, and I asked them to help me instantly. I saw all of these black, like black spots and like black energy. And then basically like something sprayed it and it dissolved instantly. And I felt, I feel so much lighter and even happier today. I have more energy today. It's amazing. So the mantis beings are also going to help us today in cleansing and detoxing some of this stuff. Thank you, Katie. We got new tattoos in Sedona. <laughs> and if you missed the uh, Sedona activation where I help you connect with the Sonona Energy Vortex. That's on my live playlist too. Ivermectin also. That's I just started taking that again. Uh, Leah says, got a stash of ivermectin from a group called Next Level 444. I'll have to write that down and look into that. So is anybody experiencing any symptoms, like negative symptoms? Maybe being really tired, 
um, any like purging, feeling sick, let me know because that's been reported by multiple people this week. And I think that's part of also why the ETs and Pleiadians um, are saying to do cleanse and detox right now. I'm not sure what Cambo is. Fight black goo with love. Play love frequencies. Yes, raising the frequency helps get rid of this. So we need to keep our frequency as high as possible. And the Pleiadians are going to help us do that today. You have to break out of the matrix of that goo. Yeah. Where do you get ivermectin? You can get like this paste on Amazon, which is what I got. But yeah, if anybody else has any recommendations, um, I know somebody, I can't remember his name, but he has some on his website. Oh, I can't remember his name. I'll share it in the Telegram group chat. Exhausted, antsy, and irritated. Katie felt so yuck, feeling much better today after cleansing. Yeah, and it was funny. Whenever that happened with the mantis beings and they helped me get rid of some of that, they said, tell Katie. <laughs> tell Katie. And she's feeling much better today, too. Mary Jean, yes, I had lots of negative energy surrounding me, did an energy cleanse, and I feel better. Yep. And doing a spiritual energy cleanse, we're being bombarded by a lot of uh, just negative energy right now and pollutants. As the frequency is raising on earth, the shadows, even our inner shadow, is coming out to play and to be made aware of and to be transmuted. So that's happening a lot right now, like even more so than usual. So you'll see a lot of chaos. And then there's chaos out in the collective. So then you've got the collective emotions. And then you've got dark beings, entities, and energies that are feeding off of that. So it's very, very important to be staying on top of your energy cleanses, raising your frequency, working with the chakras, and eating healthy, all of that. Marcus, the energies we are transmitting are dense. This is really taxing. Yeah. Penguin, feel better today. I was exhausted recently until today. Awesome. Yeah, I feel like something shift less, shifted last night. Yes, for months, feeling clear now, all of those things. Robin says, how to get new supplements? Brenda's legs hurt really bad. Not usual for me. Interesting. Blacks are feeling sick today. Well, I hope that um, maybe you could take some ivermectin, do some sort of a cleanse, and hopefully this activation will help. Tired, brain fog, and ir irritability. Those are classic signs. But then those can also be classic signs of ascension. If you're feeling very tired or wiped out, you know, we're processing a lot um, so definitely get sleep when you can, but we're not supposed to feel drained all the time. Uh, Marigold, do you use ivermectin to get rid of the black goo? I don't know. I'd have to look into that more, but I'm just doing it just because it wouldn't hurt. It helps get rid of a lot of other things in your body. So I figured, you know, maybe the black goo feeds on other negative things that are in your body. So I'm just doing kind of an all around cleanse. Nervous system seems to be wacky. Probiotics are great also. <laughs> Glad to see others are angry out of the blue. Yep. Keep, keep go getting downloads to cleanse. Perfect. So we're all on the same page. Doing uh, sage. I would do sage daily right now. Saging, um, you can do, you can use the violet flame each day. I also have a three keys to connect 10 minute meditation that cleanses, helps you connect the three keys, connect through the crown chakra to star family or the divine, cleanse your energetic field, and then putting up a protective bubble. It's a 10 minute meditation. You can find it in my uh, meditations playlist. Felt sick, lethargic, loss of appetite and hives. Wow. Very strange. Zach's feeling much better after cutting back on toxic food, doing more DNA activations. Yes, from the DNA activation kits. So before we get started, and we'll get started with the uh, channel session in just a minute, um, I do have the DNA activation kits available. It is a six-week to three-month-long program with channeled DNA activations from the Pleiadians, uh, the Lyrans, Syrians, Mother Mary, Mary Magdalene, um, who else am I missing? <laughs> uh, the inner earth beings and a few others. There's subliminal messages and instructional videos on how I activated my DNA. And it's a process, of course, but this will help jumpstart you into activating your DNA, tapping into your unlimited potential, 
developing psychic gifts and abilities, raising your frequency, making contact with your star family, all of that condensed into one program. That's in the description. But I also have smaller workshops, ancestral uh, healing, cord cutting, and um, cord cutting, ancestral healing, and clearing karma is a workshop that I have with an hour long channeled session. That, if you haven't done that yet, that would be a really, really good workshop slash channeled session to do right now. So that cuts cords and we'll cut cords today too, some with the chakras and helps clear up all of that negative energy, transmute that, clear your karma. So negative things aren't, don't keep attracting to you. Um, and then I have a deep chakra healing with inner earth beings and the violet flame. If you want to go in deeper, there's a presentation in front of that too. So if you're interested in those, those are in the description. And I've also partnered with Hopewell Farms CBD, very high quality CBD that I take every evening before bed to help me relax, help me to sleep. It also helps a lot with your insides. I started taking it after a health scare that I had. I actually had a seizure and um, this helps with the nervous system and helps with anxiety and helps um, with, I don't have epilepsy. That was more of a spiritual seizure, but um it helps and it helps with so many other things. They also do energy work on it, Hopewell Farms. So I've partnered with them to give you 10% off with code Lily10. And there's a link for that in the description. And one other thing, I do have some new merch available. This is my new Pleiadian shirt. It's unisex. It comes in all different colors. So I've got all different types of, um, yeah, very comfy too. Very, very comfy. <laughs> so I have all sorts of uh, shirts and hoodies, Lyran, Syrian, Starseed Envoy, all kinds of cool stuff on uh, my website, lilynovaspaceart.com. Thank you, Victor, for sharing all of those. And I have a short DNA activation and connect with your star family workshop with a channeled session. That's a smaller one if you don't want the whole DNA activation kit program. It's a smaller one. Very powerful. Awesome. And you can get 11% off with code Lily11 with uh, on the merch right now. So we've got Sasquatch hoodies also. All right. So let's see the Pleiadians. The Pleiadians. So I absolutely love the Pleiadians. Um, we're, they've been showing me, we're about to go through a lot of changes. Well, we're going through a lot of changes already, but they were telling me something around Christmas time, like, and I want to talk to them more about it before I share anything more, but there's going to be some huge shifts around Christmas. So right now, let's be preparing, taking care of ourselves, raising our frequency, transmuting, uh, cleansing, focusing on our heart chakra, doing the inner work, shadow work, if that comes up, and just kind of like hunker down because stuff's about to get wild. A lot of stuff is about to happen around Christmas time. So I'll get more information on that and share that with you guys later also. Ramona, thank you for the super sticker. I really appreciate that. It helps the channel a lot. And if you're here right now and you like this content, please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps the channel. So yeah, lots of stuff going on. We're preparing right now. And if you want to go deeper into the chakras, I have a chakra series. I put that playlist link in the description too. I highly recommend going through each of the chakras. So the Pleiadians have been showing me the snake, which is symbolic of the Kundalini energy, the energy that goes through your, your center column. And that helps you to connect with source. That helps you channel, channel from the divine channel uh even your you're like your star family or what or whatever channeling that source love so you have a nice clean open center column most of us probably all of us have really damaged or have had really damaged blocked chakras energy centers so there's the seven main ones root sacral solar plexus heart throat third eye and crown and the energy really starts from the bottom. You want to focus on the root chakra first and be very, very grounded. For me personally, I'm very high up in the upper chakras. My crown chakra and third eye are wide open. And that can give me issues with being grounded. 
So I really have to be mindful about focusing on like balancing the energy, connecting with the earth, grounding, and just being stern. Because if you're too much up here, then you're just kind of floating around. You may become reactive, um, just not in your body. Um, it can be exhausting also. There's a lot of non-benefits of not being stern in your lower chakras. So people often overlook that, but it's very, very important. An imbalanced root chakra can also cause fear and anxiety. There's a lot of trauma in the root, the sacral, and the solar plexus. The solar plexus is our center for personal power. That's a big way that we're going to be defeating the cabal and coming into our own, our own power and realizing who we truly are. So very, 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 very important. And they can easily get blocked or imbalanced. So it's time to focus on those again. And, and yeah, does, have, does anybody have any questions before we begin? Oh, Leah, is there another way to donate to the channel if you can't super chat? Yeah, there's also a buy me a coffee link in the description. So after after this, you can click buy me a coffee or you might be able to do it during the live too and then donate that way. Thank you. I appreciate that a lot. It helps the channel. So I do these free activations every Sunday. I've been doing them for a year and a half and that's my number one priority. And thank you everybody who is here each week because your energy is contributing as well. Victor did the throat chakra again this week. It helped a lot, making my way slowly upwards. Yeah, so that's what I did. I started from the bottom, worked my way up. You'll become a completely different person once your chakras are opened and, and aligned. It's incredible. Marcus, thank you for the super chat. Love to everyone here. Much love to you, Marcus. All right. So I guess let's go ahead and get started. Is everybody ready? Let me think if there was anything else. I think that's it. So you should feel much, much better after this. <laughs> and if you're not like an avid meditator, don't, don't worry about that. Just listen to the sound of my voice and the sound of the bowl. Just relax. Um, I channel the frequencies through my throat chakra. I channel the, the star beings through my throat chakra. So just the sound is activating you and coding you. So ready. Okay. All right. We got 147 here live. Hello, everyone. Okay, guys. So like I said, this is the heart chakra bowl. And the heart is the key. Remember, that's your portal. Your portal to the divine. Love. So just go ahead and... Get in a comfortable position. If you want to wear headphones, you can. In this, uh, this is a crystal alchemy singing bowl. I get it from solosoaring.com. I have uh, her website in the description if you're looking to get one. Um, but this is for the heart chakra. It also does all of the chakras. It produces very powerful frequencies that help heal, open, and relax you. Helps you tune yourself, come in harmony and balance. Mary already has goosebumps. So go ahead and take a few deep breaths in. And as you breathe in, breathe light into your body. Breathing light in. See it going through your throat, down your shoulders, into your chest, into your heart, breathing light into your heart space. 
expanding your heart, opening your heart to receive these frequencies and light codes. The light travels down your arms to the tips of your fingers, relaxing you, raising your frequency. Continuing down into your abdomen as you breathe in deep. Down to your thighs, to your calves, and then light going to the tips of your toes. Now you are completely relaxed, open body, open mind. Frequency rising. And now we will create sacred space around each and every one of us. We call in Archangel Michael, the warrior protector angel. We call in Raphael, the healer magician angel. We call in Archangel Gabriel and Uriel. Come be here with us now. These are the archangels of the four directions, north, east, south, and west. They surround each and every one of us now, bringing light into the room, creating sacred space around you, clearing out any old energies, any dense energies, any dark energies or anything that doesn't belong, clearing it out with light and love, raising the frequency of your environment, holding this space sacred, holding each side of your energetic field. And now we call in Archangel Metatron of the above space. Metatron brings the golden Christ grid down from the grand central sun, from source, the divine. See this archangel traveling down with this golden grid through the sky and entering into the top of your crown chakra. Your crown chakra opens as it fills with the Christ light. Down into your third eye, your throat opens and into your heart, anchoring this light into your heart, the Christ consciousness grid. Now we call upon Sandalphon of the below space. Coming from deep within the earth, bringing up the 5D crystalline grid of the earth, a platinum light traveling up, 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 bringing the 5D crystalline grid through your earth star chakra below your feet, into your feet, clearing your feet chakras, up into your root chakra, filling it with 5D crystalline light, grounding you to the earth, into your sacral, your solar plexus, and then anchoring into the heart. Breathe in this beautiful light as you are held from every direction. Perfectly anchored in this light in the Christ grid, the 5D crystalline grid of the earth. And now we call in the Pleiadians, our star brothers and sisters, our guides of the highest love and light, our ascension teams, and the benevolent mantis beings working with us right now, calling these beings in to assist with this activation and raising our frequency, opening, clearing, and tuning our chakras. See a galactic federation Pleiadian ship, multiple ships, all of our star families around the earth drawing closer telepathically connecting to us, 
these beautiful Nordic beings, brothers, sisters, family, and their teams, the Arcturians, other star races helping us right now. The Pleiadians now invite us onto their mothership. See yourself transported into a room on the ship with a group of Pleiadian beings greeting you. They give you a warm welcome. They feel so light, so bright. You feel their loving, compassionate energy just intoxicates you with love and bliss. Raising your frequency. They now invite you to take a seat on a chair you look around the room, what does the room look like? Very advanced, beautiful, elegant. They instruct you to cross your legs, sitting up, your spine straight up. And they now instruct you to lay all the way back in this chair. A couple Pleiadian beings come around you and they instruct you now to begin breathing in deep, breathing life force energy into your chakras into your center column. Breathe deep. We now focus in on the root chakra at the base of your spine. A Pleiadian puts their hand over this energy center sending frequencies and healing energy through the palms of their hands into your root. Your root may have appeared dim or blocked or small. Now, we, as well as the Pleiadians, begin sending energy and light and life force into your root chakra, focusing it on your root. See light beginning to enter into your root and begin swirling around as well as frequencies coming out of the hands of the Pleiadians, adjusting your root, helping to clear your root. Your root is your center for stability, for feeling grounded, secure, safe, Often trauma gets caught in the root. We now begin to clear this and ease. Ease this chakra. Ease your energy. Your chakra begins to open wider and spin, and it begins to shine a bright red. Feel your root chakra balancing, harmonizing. And now we move up to the sacral chakra. 
near your navel. It is supposed to be an orange color. It may look dim or scuffed or imbalanced or small or closed. There may be blockages from unhealed traumas from childhood or past lifetimes. Programming from the collective that has programmed your sacral, which is your center for life force, for creative life force, as well as sexuality. If you have ever had a traumatic experience involving sexuality, the Pleiadians gently ease this pain, this trauma, by sending light to it, awareness and love, sending love to this trauma, sending love to your sacral. And as this happens, your sacral begins to open up like a flower that is blossoming. Feel it deep within you, healing your sexuality, unblocking your creative life force, your creativity. See the sacral chakra growing, expanding, opening like a flower and becoming a bright orange. Energy swiftly moves up from the root through your sacral as there is a clear open channel. And now we move up to the solar plexus near your ribs. your center for your power, will, your will, who you are, strength, courage. This, the solar plexus is supposed to be yellow, a bright yellow. It may appear dim or imbalanced or blocked. This can also come from past life traumas or trauma throughout your life. And we also see the mantis being stepping forward. Also sending frequencies and adjusting your energetic field while this is happening. Sending upgrades and frequencies to your solar plexus, focusing on that part of your body for a moment. The Pleiadians wave their hand over it, sending love and light, healing, adjusting. And what may have appeared dim before begins to loosen up, open up, and begins to grow bright like the sun. See your solar plexus as energy and loving frequencies and light are pumped into it. See your solar plexus growing, growing, expanding like a great giant sun. And as this happens, you feel your power returning to you. Breathing light into your solar plexus. As this happens, your Merkaba begins to activate and become brighter around you. Your light bodies connected to your solar plexus. Coming more online, a bright golden light surrounding you. Your Merkaba your light body is so important. It is known as the chariot of ascension. It will help you quantum leap into your highest potential. It will also help to protect you. It will help you to heal yourself, awaken dormant abilities. 
see this light, this bright golden yellow light from the sun of your solar plexus and pumping into your Merkaba light body around you. The mantis being step forward and make any adjustments to your light body. Sending frequencies, codes, The Merkaba is a pyramid and an upside down pyramid that is around your body, your light body, your vehicle. Feeling stronger and brighter already. Continuing to send frequencies and light and upgrades to your solar plexus and your Merkaba, your light body, as it becomes brighter, brighter gold. Feeling so strong and protected. Now we move up to the heart chakra. The Pleiadians wave their hand over your heart. You feel the love instantly, deep within your being, deep within your heart. Your heart is supposed to be a vibrant green color. Many of us put blockages and walls around our heart from being hurt so much to try and protect ourselves. But you no longer need these walls. Pleiadians send frequencies, light, and love into your heart, pumping into your heart, and you see a huge surge of light entering into your heart chakra, expanding, and the light pulses out into your energetic field, into your being, massively upgrading and opening your heart. Feel the power of your heart pulsing, vibrating, illuminating. Your heart is also your connection to the divine, higher realms. It helps you to embody, love your true form. Raising your frequency rapidly. Any wounds melting away instantly as this light transmutes. The portal of your heart chakra opening, opening. And now you can see through the lens of your heart. This is your inner temple. You see from a higher perspective a higher awareness, a higher level of consciousness. You are more in tune with your inner guidance, your angels, your cosmic family, your guides. Life becomes more magical and beautiful around you as you look through the lens of your heart, through the portal of your heart. You see love all around you. You feel complete bliss. As your heart chakra expands and upgrades, your light body expands, your heart creates an energetic field around you. See it expanding by feet into the room. You can feel this field around you as it grows. Becoming more in tune, more aware, more aligned with your higher self, with your higher purpose, with love, with source. The angels, 
also blessing your heart space, helping to open your heart. And now we move up to your throat chakra. It is supposed to be a blue. Your throat may be clogged or imbalanced. The color may be dim. Your throat chakra may be closed or severely blocked, keeping you from expressing your truth, who you truly are. Dampering communication, connection with source. Your throat also helps you connect to the higher realms as well as be authentic, authentically you, to know who you truly are and stand in your truth. The Pleiadians put their hands over your throat chakra. The mantises also assist with clearing any blockages. This can come from this lifetime, from past lifetimes, where you were not allowed to speak your truth. And when you did, Terrible things happened. So you shut your throat chakra to protect yourself. You no longer need to do this. This is the time of great awakening and expansion, great remembering, expression of your light, of your skills, gifts, love. See light swirling into the throat chakra, clearing any blockages, healing, energy flowing. And as this happens, your throat chakra expands and becomes a vibrant blue, opening, upgrading, also upgrading to help with your connection to the divine, your higher self. Breathing light into your throat, allowing the mantis and Pleiadians to make any adjustments, accepting love and light into your throat, into your expression. You can now see yourself expressing yourself authentically with confidence, smoother communication with others in the divine, your star family. A bright, vibrant blue. And now we move up to the third eye. See this bright light of energy going through the root, sacral, solar plexus, heart, throat, and now entering your third eye. The Pleiadians have a gift for you a massive upgrade to your third eye chakra. They wave their hands over your third eye, clearing any fog or imbalances or any darkness or any wounds instantly, sending a surge of light and love and frequencies into your third eye. Your third eye becomes bright and open in indigo color upgrading your third eye so that you can see more. You can see the bigger picture. You can see through the eyes of source, your higher self. Also activating and stimulating your unique psychic gifts and abilities, your power. The Pleiadian puts their finger on your third eye and a beautiful energy ripples out. You will now be able to see and understand. Your awareness expands. Feel your awareness expanding beyond you and your connection to all things. You feel one in this moment with everybody here, with the beings on the ship, with the angels, with the earth and you also feel this in your heart
The Pleiadians will also help you to access your divine wisdom, your inner wisdom, your intuition. You've lived many lifetimes. You are very wise. You are an old soul. And it is time you have access to your potential, your wisdom, your lessons, learning from your lessons, growing. The third eye focusing on your forehead is pulsing as it grows, expands, clears, upgrades. And now we move up to the crown chakra at the top of your head. This is your connection to the divine, to the higher realms, to your star family, part of the connection to your star family to the angels, to source, to love. Focusing on the top of your head for a moment, feel this energy center. It may have been dim before, and it begins to open. As it fills with light, the Pleiadians move their hand over it, sending frequencies, love, and light. The mantis beings begin adjusting your crown, and you see a beautiful pinkish purple color as the light becomes brighter, energy and light swirls within your crown, opening. And your connection to Christ consciousness, to the divine, you see light entering in through your crown chakra, opening you up to receive all of these divine downloads, codes, Upgrading you, encoding your energetic field, helping you to access and activate and perceive your multidimensionality. The 5D reality around you, raising your frequency, allowing healing, love, and light in through your crown. Now doing a scan over the rest of your body, look at all of your chakras, perfectly centered, balanced, open, bright. The Pleiadians and Mantis beings make any last adjustments on your chakras or your energetic field or light bodies around your being. Seeing them stepping forward, making any last adjustments. Feeling clearer, your inner channel is open. You can feel the energy coming up from your roots all the way up to your crown. Feeling grounded, centered, peaceful, love in your power. Completely upgraded. Now they instruct you to sit up. You sit up. You are so much brighter and more open than before harmonized, balanced. If you wish, of course, you can dig deeper into each of the chakras. It is recommended to learn more about each of your energy centers. The Pleiadians and Mantis beings step forward to say goodbye, but first, they may have something to show you or tell you, a message. So just open up to receive a message from them now. However it comes, it may be a thought, a feeling, a vision. Now the Pleiadians hug you. The mantis beings are so excited for you. They're all jumping up and down in glee. They send you their love and tell you how brave you are and how important your mission is in your work here on earth. You are not forgotten and they are helping every step of the way and doing a lot behind the scenes. This ascension is inevitable. 
They thank you for your service. Say goodbye, and now you can begin coming back to your body, leaving the Galactic Federation ship, returning back to Earth, to your body, feeling refreshed, rejuvenated, upgraded, brighter. Begin coming back to the present moment. You may want to wiggle your fingers and toes. And whenever you are ready, let me know how your experience was and how you feel. Oh my goodness, my hand is asleep. <laughs> wow. Oh, I absolutely love them. That was very sweet of them. Thank you so much, Pleiadians and the Mantis beings and the angels, archangels, for assisting us today in this powerful chakra tune-up and for your words of encourage encouragement, for your love, wisdom, and helping us to tap into and remember our true power and who we truly are. Okay, let's see. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you. Victor got a bit emotional at the end. The message I got from them was, we are always with you and you're always with us. You are never alone. That's sweet. That's true. We forget that sometimes. Karen, amazing. I could feel their hands. That's freaking awesome. Leah, do we have to come back? I want to stay on the ship. I know. Let's ask. Okay, Pleiadians and Mantis beings, can we also tonight maybe meet in the astral and all come up to the ship tonight? We would absolutely love that. <laughs> Let's set the intention, guys. See if we can meet on the ship later or wherever they prefer. Phoenix Blue, my third eye is still pulsing from the light applied by the Pleiadian guides. Yeah, the third eye was like whoosh. Thank you. Felt amazing. I did this under the night sky and the Pleiades is, as it is nighttime in my country. That's amazing. Yeah, the Pleiades star cluster is starting to come out now, so keep an eye out for it. I got to see it last night in the Milky Way while I was camping. It was amazing. Katie, feel so much aligned. Awesome, Tony. Beautiful. Libby, thanks. Um, yeah, start from the beginning. If you if you came in later. I'll also put a timestamp where the activation starts, or you can skip ahead to the part where I pick up the bowl if you'd like. When you were doing the third eye, I feel my kundalini was activated. So grateful, Lily. Wow, Mary Jean. That's amazing. Yep, that may happen. <laughs> you may feel that also. And walking lightly, thank you. And if you guys are here right now and enjoyed this activation, found it helpful, please share. If you know anybody who could use a chakra tune-up, this is a free chakra tune-up from me and the Pleiadians. Um, and also please hit the like button. It helps the channel a lot. It helps with the algorithm, helps help more uh, star seeds find this channel and receive the healing and, and upgrades as, as well as please leave a comment. Uh, even if you are in the live and you'd like to share some of your experience in the comments or say thanks or drop some hearts, I would really, really appreciate that. That would help the channel a lot. Ramona feels light and floaty. Palms of my hands were pulsing. That's awesome. Thanks, Craig. Started to cry at the end. That's good. I could feel them. That's what it feels like whenever you feel them. You just feel that love. And it's very emotional. It's such a pure, so pure. Down for a ship meetup. Mary Beth, floodgates open. Tears flowing. That's awesome. And we're doing a lot of purging also. Um, so, yeah, don't forget, guys, uh, doing some sort of a detox. You can try Scram if you'd like for a parasite cleanse or just doing something. I have the link for that in the description. And, um, and yeah. Oh, no, Laura, your phone did an automatic update. That was incredible, Danny. Tend to, to not to get obvious messages, but I always smile and cry. So then, like, if you feel, you know, that love, that that's a message to you. You just, you're feeling it. They're sending, that's their message to you, love, that we are here and that we love you. And to smile. 
did this in the park with the sun. That's awesome. Thank you, Zach. Felt so much peace. I know the world is chaotic, but I know everything will be okay in the end now. That's awesome. Thank you for the super sticker too. That helps the channel a lot. Tears of joy while entering the ship. Yeah, let's see if we can meet up on the ship tonight in the dream time. And then we'll also ask if we, if we can remember it or at least remember a little piece of it because I know we go up there a lot and then we don't remember. Um, yeah, Lakeside Laura's on seven days of ivermectin this week. Tiggly. Thank you, guys. Um, I'm also doing some more interviews. So I've got some interviews lined up. So Wednesday night will be the first Starseed Chats in a while. I've got um, King Cassius coming on. I'm super excited for this. Uh, he's very, very big on TikTok and Instagram. Um, if you guys don't know who he is, you've probably seen his content if you have TikTok and Instagram. He does a lot of ET content, um, very educational, fun stuff. So he's coming on Wednesday at 8 p.m. Central Time. And um, we talk a lot about, he's he's like hunting demons and reptilians right now. <laughs> that's, that's like his mission. So it was a really amazing conversation. And, um, and his energy is just so fun. Like he makes it fun. And he's in contact with the Galactic Federation too. So it was just a blast talking to him um, and hearing some of his background and his experiences and his wisdom, of course. So that will be this Wednesday. And then next Wednesday, I have Sherry Divband coming on, um, which I've done other interviews with her. You may know of her. She works with the Starseed Children to talk about um, 3D interference, navigating that, how to overcome 3D interference, because we're experiencing a lot of interference right now. And, uh, you know, practical tips as well as, um, you know, just other very practical things. So, yeah. And then I may have a pet whisperer on after that, a Lyran, to talk about the Lyrans and um, communicating with pets. So I'm excited for that. First Starsee Chats in a while. I think I love King Cass. Me too. He is absolutely just amazing. He is amazing. I love him. Thank you, Robert Gardner. Very powerful experience with the sacral solar plexus and heart chakras. Thank you so much for the super chat also. I'm hoping that we can come back for a winter solstice to Sedona. Um, and thank you, Flask. Oh, it's so good to see you. I haven't seen you in a while. Thank you. All right. Any last notes? That's um, about it. Starseed Chats, Scram. And uh, don't forget the DNA activation kits and ancestral healing cord cutting is available. And I've got a full chakra series link in the description. All right, guys. I love you so much. Like I said, please share this if you know anybody who could benefit from this. And feel free to do it again if you'd like. And I will see you guys Wednesday night for Starseed Chats with King Cass. Happy Sunday. See you in the astral. <laughs>